Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kristen and I post new videos every week. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my July wrap-up. So I read 12 books in the month of July and this was probably one of my best reading months so far this year. This is the most amount of books I've read in a month so far this year and I also just read a lot of really amazing books. I've said this before on this channel but I've been reading a lot of like mediocre books this year compared to like last year. Last year I read so many amazing books but this past month was a really great month. I read so many good books so I'm so excited to talk about all these books and to share all my thoughts on them. So yeah, let's just get into the video. So normally when I do my monthly wrap-ups, I share the books in the order that I read them in but there were some books that I didn't read in order or like I didn't read them back to back and they were kind of part of the same series so for those books um, I'm going to share them in the correct reading order rather than the order that I read them in but the first book that I read this month was The Birthday List by Devney Perry so this one I actually started it like in the middle of June and I ended up reading like two other books while I was reading this one so I kept pausing reading this one to read my other books and so I was trying to finish this one by the end of June I was like almost done with it right at the end of June but I just didn't finish it in time so I actually ended up finishing it on July 1st so I counted it as a July book even though I read the majority of it in June but this book was really good however I do feel like because I took some breaks while reading it that it kind of like dragged the story on a little bit and I just like didn't really get as into it I feel like if I would have just like read it all the way through and not have read other books at the same time I would have enjoyed it even more but besides that it still was a really amazing book and I really enjoyed this one so this book follows Poppy and Cole and so basically Poppy was married to this guy named Jamie and he was murdered and so now it's five years later since her husband died and he actually created this birthday list of just things he wanted to do by certain birthdays and so he would constantly be adding to it and since he passed away she decides that she wants to complete this list for him and she kind of assumes that it's something that'll like give her closure and help her move on from him because it's been five years since he died and so one of the things on the list is that Poppy wanted to own a restaurant one day and so Jamie was going to help her with that and so yeah that's kind of one of the big things that she finally crosses off she opens this new restaurant and she's kind of trying to like start over and start this new life for herself and then she runs into Cole and Cole is someone who's like kind of from her past she's met him before and so she's a little hesitant to get close to him and to get to know him but he really likes her he remembers her too and they kind of just start to get closer it's kind of a friends to lovers story because eventually he does kind of help her with the list she shows it to him and she realizes that she's going to need help with completing this list because she kind of created this deadline for herself and she realizes that Cole is kind of one of the only people that can help her because he's also kind of one of the only people that's supportive of her actually completing this list so yeah so he starts to help her with the list they obviously start to grow closer together and yeah that's kind of the main premise of this book but yeah I loved this book a lot I thought it was really great I really enjoyed it I did rate it 4.5 stars like I said I feel like I would have enjoyed it a lot more if I hadn't taken a break while reading it but it was still really good and there's a second book this is a duet um, and the second book follows characters that you meet in this one so I'm really excited to continue this duet and to finally read that book because I've heard really good things about it so next here's where I'm kind of going out of order because I didn't read these next two books in order and I wish I would have read them in the correct order but the next book I'm gonna talk about is Fair Catch by Candy Steiner so this book is a college sports romance and it follows Riley and Zeke and so they're both on the football team Riley is a female athlete and so because of that with her being on the football team she kind of deals with a lot her being like the only girl on this team and so they're also childhood friends he is best friends with her brother and she used to be really close to him too but now she hates him for something that happened but obviously they kind of are forced to spend time with each other because they are both teammates and on top of that they are in the same dorm um, for like all the football players and no one really wants to room with her because she is a girl and he's kind of the only one that is okay with her staying in his dorm so she ends up being his roommate and so it's kind of like forced proximity of them constantly being around each other however she hates him he's kind of trying to win her over again and like be friends with her again because they used to be really close when they were younger that's kind of the main premise of this one so yeah I really liked this one a lot I thought it was interesting because obviously it's a sports romance with a female athlete and I liked that she was on the football team you know I thought that was just like an interesting and unique thing so yeah I really liked this one I did end up rating it for 0.25 stars it was an enjoyable book I just kind of feel like it was missing something like it was good and I liked it but I was just kind of like I don't know I think I expected like a little bit more out of it I feel like there could have been like more in it I feel like there's potential for like other conflicts and stuff but I do think it was a good story overall and I did enjoy reading it so the next book is Blindside which is also by Candy Steiner so this book I actually read before Fair Catch but it actually takes place at the same school and this takes place after Fair Catch so I wish I had read them in order because this takes place in like the following school year like these characters are all sophomores now in the past book they were all freshmen 
scene. So yeah, so this book follows Clay and Gianna. And so Clay is on the football team and Gianna is like the PR assistant for the team. And so basically he's always been like a good like nice guy like she's never had like any issues with him like he's always been really cooperative with her job because she's always having to like get these football players to kind of you know come with her and do like little interviews and stuff like that and some of them kind of give her a hard time but Clay has always been really good about like being cooperative with her but one day he is kind of like in a bad mood and he kind of causes issues with her and her job and basically she finds out that his high school sweetheart just dumped him and she kind of needs to do something about that because if he continues to act that way like that's gonna affect her and she could potentially lose her job so they have this meeting where she's gonna kind of go over like some media training with him and at this meeting they're sitting in a coffee shop where this guy is playing like live music on stage and he notices that Gianna is obviously like into this guy and has a crush on him so he proposes that they fake date and he'll help her get that guy's attention and then she'll help him by making his ex-girlfriend jealous and she'll like want him back so she eventually agrees to that and they start to fake date and so as they start to fake date she eventually does get the attention of this guy but she realizes that he is very like experienced and has dated people before and she's very inexperienced so she decides to ask Clay to help her with that and she wants to lose her virginity before she eventually dates this other guy so that's another big part of this story too but this book was so good I literally loved it so much it was so cute um this one was a five-star read it was just amazing I was really happy with this book and so as I was reading it I obviously noticed all the side characters and realized that fair catch comes before this book however there's another book that also comes after this one I think it comes out in October and I'm so excited for that one too now because we meet that character in this book and I just I can't wait for that book like I really love this series so far but they are all standalones you can read them on their own so this one I would highly recommend it it was really good it was just so cute I just loved everything about it I really loved these characters and I loved their relationship and I just really enjoyed these books I am excited to read more of Candy Steiner I read one of her books I think in June and I didn't really love it so I'm happy like with these two like I'm glad I decided to give these ones a chance because these were really enjoyable books so the next book I read was Consider Me by Becca Mack so this book is a sports romance it follows Carter and Olivia and so Carter is is a professional hockey player and the two of them meet through Olivia's best friend. Olivia's best friend is dating his teammate and so basically he's like attracted to her right away. He's like interested in her right away but they were both kind of warned um, to stay away from each other. They warned him like not to mess with Olivia and Olivia was warned about him because he's kind of like a player and so right away he really likes her. He's kind of trying to get her attention but she doesn't really want anything to do with him but he's pretty persistent and he kind of just keeps like trying to get her to give him a chance and they just keep running into each other because they obviously have mutual friends and so eventually she does kind of give in to him and it's obviously the reformed player trope because he was very much like against commitment and dating anyone but then as soon as he meets her he's like obsessed and wants to commit to her so I really liked this book a lot I thought it was so cute something I really enjoyed about this one is that you actually get to see them like be in a relationship like you get a lot of just like them dating and like being together and like being happy and there's just a lot of like really cute moments that you get to see in this book so I really enjoyed that because I feel like a lot of times in romance books the couple gets together like way later on in the book or they get together but they're only together like briefly and then like a conflict happens that like breaks them apart but this one was a pretty long book so you do get to see a lot of their relationship and you just get to see a lot of like really cute moments between them I do feel like it was a little too long that was kind of my main complaint about it and at one point I really didn't even think that there was going to be like a huge conflict or anything like I thought it was just going to be like a cute like fluffy book there is a conflict that happens I didn't really love that conflict I just felt like it was unnecessary and I also did see it coming like it was a very predictable conflict Conflict. so yeah it was just a lot of like cute moments up until that conflict and like even though it was long I didn't necessarily feel like it was dragging out but I just felt like they seemed like so good and like solid together and then this like conflict happens and it just kind of annoyed me that that happened but other than that I did think it was a really enjoyable book I rated it 4.5 stars it is a series there are gonna be other books that follow this one so I'm excited for the next one because it does follow characters that are in this book that we get to meet here and then I think there's gonna be a total of four or five books I'm not sure exactly but they're all like planned out already like the characters are planned out so I'm excited to see what happens with the rest of these books only this one's out as of right now I think the second one comes out in October but yeah I like this one if you like sports romance and I would definitely recommend this one so the next book I read was The Light We Lost by Jill Santopolo so this book was absolutely amazing I loved it so much I did do a full review video for it that's pretty spoiler free I would say so I'll put a link to that if you want to know a little bit more about this book and kind of my thoughts on it but basically it follows Lucy and Gabe and they meet on September 11th um, 2001 in New York City they're both students 
students at Columbia. So they meet on the day of the 9-11 attack and basically they kind of stick together that day and they kind of talk about like their lives and what they want for their futures and they both decide that they want like a life that actually means something. But they end up going their separate ways after that and then they meet up again I think about a year later and it's kind of like a right person wrong time book like they just kind of keep like meeting up and then leaving each other's lives. At one point they do start up a relationship but then he gets a job in the Middle East as a photojournalist and so that kind of tears them apart again and you just kind of see their relationship throughout I think like 14 years and you just kind of see like all of what they go through and kind of like how their decisions affect their lives. So I really loved this book. I thought it was just really interesting. It talked a lot about how your decisions can affect your life and so it just kind of like made me think a lot after I read it. Like I just really liked that about this book. It was a very thought-provoking book so this one was a five-star read. Um, like I said I have that full review if you kind of want to know more about it. But I had put off reading this book for so long like it's been on my TBR for the longest time and I'm so glad that I finally read it because it was such an amazing book. So the next book is probably my favorite of this month maybe. I'm not sure. I have like really mixed feelings about this book. But I read Perfect Strangers by J.T. Geisinger. So this book I don't really know how to describe it. Well I know how to describe it like I can tell you what it's about but like just my feelings on it like I don't even know how to like go into them because this book was just so like I don't know like it just I, I didn't expect like anything of what happened to happen I never saw any of it coming I changed my opinion on it so many times because at first I just like was like what is this book I don't like this and then I was like that book sucked that was horrible like what was that but then I kept thinking about it like it was a book that I literally could not stop thinking about I still continue to think about it I don't have a physical copy of this one I read it on Kindle Unlimited but now I want a physical copy of it because I just couldn't stop thinking about it and then I was like okay that book was actually really amazing so I ended up rating this one five stars so it was just a very chaotic book a lot happened I feel like a big part of why I liked it is because of all the plot twists at first they like annoyed me because I was like what is this this is like dumb and I was like really angry with it but then later on I was like okay I actually really liked that a lot so I'll go ahead and explain what it's about so this book follows Olivia and James and so Olivia is an author and she's kind of been like having a hard time writing her next book but she has a deadline coming up but something tragic happened to her recently so she's just kind of been having a hard time with writing so her agent I think or maybe her editor I can't remember exactly but basically this person that she works with has an apartment in Paris and she offers for her to stay there for the summer and just like you know take her mind off things and just write in this apartment so yeah so she goes to stay there for the summer and then she meets James and he's a very like charming kind of mysterious person and I don't know there's like I don't really know how to describe him because he's just like I don't even know like she knows he's kind of like there's something off about him but at the same time he's just very like charming and he draws her in like right away so yeah so they kind of start up this relationship they decide to keep things casual and to remain like strangers throughout this trip because she says that she's leaving at the end of summer so she doesn't want to like start anything and like get into anything serious obviously since she's gonna be gone so they agree to have this kind of casual relationship however there's a lot that goes on after that that I can't really get into because there's just a lot that happens in this story it's like it's a book that I like want to recommend because I'm like this book was so good I want people to read it and like go through what I went through but at the same time I'm like I can see why people would absolutely hate this book because at first I hated it I was so like annoyed with it I was like I originally rated it four stars I think or 4.5 maybe and then I changed it to like three I think which I said I hated it but I was gonna rate it three stars but then after that is when I changed it to five but yeah but like I said there was just so much that happened so many plot twists I I think that's just why I loved it so much because I never saw any of it coming and I felt like I needed a book like this like one that was just gonna really like draw me in and I actually finished this one all like within a day which I don't normally do that I did that with the light we lost also I started it and finished it in the same day and I did the same thing with this one because I couldn't put it down it was just so like suspenseful and just such an insane story but yeah but I really love this one a lot and I also just liked how this book made me feel like I feel like I need more books like this so I definitely want to read more by this author because I just really enjoyed this one so much but yeah again like I said I would definitely recommend this one also another thing about this book is it was really spicy like there was a lot of spice scenes in it like I and I wasn't really expecting that it got to a point where it was a little too much like I was kind of over it and I was like can we move on from this but the rest of the book was really good it was just I don't know it still like makes me annoyed when I think about it but I do think it was a really good book overall it's one that I can't stop thinking about so yeah even though I changed my rating like multiple times on this book I'm definitely like sticking with five stars because it was still a really good book so the next book I read was Full Tilt by Emma Scott so this book follows Casey and Jonah and so Casey is a musician she plays with this band and then she meets Jonah he's her limo driver for a night while she's playing a show in Vegas and so the two of them meet they kind of have this like connection pretty early on 
on and he kind of helps her out because the night that they meet she is just completely wasted and he takes her to his apartment because he doesn't really have anywhere else to leave her that's like safe for her and basically like I said they kind of have this connection but then also he sees that she is kind of like not really doing well with her life like she's constantly drinking and just like having all these problems in her life and she's kind of basically destroying her life so he decides to help her he lets her stay um, at his apartment for a few days while she's in town but as that happens obviously their connection just kind of grows stronger they are friends though like it wasn't like insta love or anything like that they decide to like just be friends because he is running out of time I don't want to get into too much with what's going on with him but basically he only has like a few months left to live eventually she decides to stay in Vegas and they kind of have this connection with each other but they do agree to just be friends so this book obviously was a sad book um, based on the synopsis I cried a ton while I was reading this book and this is part of a duet so this is the first one and I really loved it a lot I thought it was a really amazing book it was just a really amazing story I really loved the love story between the two characters and just the way that they loved each other so yeah so this book was so good it was really sad but it was a really amazing book I put off reading it for the longest time because I wasn't prepared to cry and like be sobbing while I read it but I'm glad that I finally read it because it was a really amazing story so initially when I finished Full Tilt I rated it 4.5 stars but then I read the second book in the duet and so the second book is all in so basically in this book um, I don't want to get too much into what it's about because this is they're not standalones like you do need to read Full Tilt first and they go together this kind of picks up like a little bit after where Full Tilt leaves off and I would recommend like not looking into what this book is about until you read Full Tilt if you do want to read these two. I never read the synopsis of All In because I was worried that there might be spoilers on the back which I feel like there kind of is and so this one was really good. I really loved it a lot. I thought it was so amazing. Basically after I read Full Tilt like I said I rated that one 4.5 stars but then after I read this one I rated it 5 stars and I changed my rating of Full Tilt to 5 stars because I think overall this duet is 5 stars. I feel like Full Tilt you can technically read it as a standalone like it ends pretty complete I guess. I don't think you should read it as a standalone but like technically I think you could but basically after reading All In I think that gives you like the full story like the full overall story and this book has a very like complete like happy ending compared to Full Tilt so I feel like after getting the full like entire story I ended up changing my rating to five stars. I think it's necessary to read both of these books in order to get that full story and just like kind of get the full complete thing and the full complete message. So yeah so I cried a lot while reading these books. I felt like this one was more sad just because it's kind of the aftermath of Full Tilt. So I would say my crying was like equal in both of these books but I did find this one to be like a little bit more sad but it was also a really happy book too. So yeah I really loved this duet. I thought it was amazing. I highly recommend it. Be prepared for tears but it's such a good story. So the next book I read was Flawless by Elsie Silver. So this book follows Summer and Rhett and so Rhett is a professional bull rider and he recently has been having kind of some bad publicity because of something that happened and basically his agent decides that he needs a babysitter so he sends his daughter which is Summer to kind of be his babysitter and kind of watch over him I think for the next two months maybe I don't remember how long it was exactly but basically he's going home to his family's ranch and she goes to stay with him and kind of make sure that he stays out of trouble while he's at home and while he goes to like his different competitions and everything and so yes yeah, so she's kind of his babysitter basically and it is enemies to lovers because he is annoyed with her he doesn't like that he is a grown man who has a babysitter but yeah but she's kind of just to make sure that he stays out of trouble to kind of clean up his image also because he recently lost some big sponsorships so he's kind of like on the verge of losing a couple other sponsorships so his agent basically tells him that he needs to keep his act together so yeah so summer is staying with him and his family on their ranch and she kind of like goes with him to all his competitions and everything and so obviously as that's happening they start to grow closer to each other it reminded me a lot of the longest ride um i've never read the book but i've seen the movie so yeah it just kind of made me think of that while i was reading it and i've been wanting to rewatch the movie since reading this book but yeah i ended up rating this one 4.75 stars it was really enjoyable i just feel like i don't know what it was i just feel like it just wasn't like a five star read but it was a really good book I would definitely highly recommend this one it was really cute it was a sweet story between them I really liked kind of the cute moments between them that we got and just like the way that they got closer to each other and kind of started to like open up to each other especially because they both have like dealt with things in the past and Summer's kind of been struggling with what she wants for her future and he's kind of struggling too because he is getting older I think he's like 32 I want to say and she is 25 so there's like kind of a little bit of an age gap between them but he's kind of older for like a bull rider like most of them are pretty young so he's kind of getting to an age where he's kind of expected to retire soon so yeah so I just really enjoyed their story she did 
didn't have a crush on him when she was younger because he's been famous since he was like 22 I think so she had a crush on him when she was a teenager and I thought that was really cute because he's kind of like her like teenage crush you know and then she gets to like be with him but yeah this one was a great book I definitely recommend it I definitely like didn't expect to like this book as much as I did because I didn't think I would like a book about like cowboys basically but I actually really enjoyed this one um, there are other books I think that follow this one that I want to read and I know that Rhett's sister has her own book so I kind of want to read that one now I've heard about her books before but I've just never really been interested in them because they kind of deal with like ranch type stories and horse type stories and like that just doesn't really interest me to be honest but I liked this one enough that I think I might give those ones a chance so yeah so the next book is Sinbin by Tegan Hunter so this book is part of the Carolina Comet series this is the fourth book in the series so I did start this series back in April and I read the first three books and then this one just came out in July so I was basically trying to find a book to read and then I saw that this one was on Kindle Unlimited so I decided to read it because I have enjoyed the other books so far so I really like this series I like her writing I feel like it's very like fast and interesting and I usually finish her books really quickly so yeah I would definitely recommend them if you're a fan of like hockey sports or romance but basically this book follows Amelia and Smith and so Amelia is I think the social media coordinator for the hockey team and Smith is he's kind of like one of the oldest guys on the team so there is an age gap she's 28 and he's 38 so they're like 10 years apart and basically they met one night like I think two and a half years ago and they had like this one night stand or I guess it was kind of a whole weekend that they spent together but then at the end of the weekend they kind of decided to just like go their separate ways and not really have any contact with each other and then they end up seeing each other at work she was just about to start her new job so he hadn't met her yet but then she shows up to the rink on like once the season starts and basically they realized that she works there she's also the assistant coach's niece so she's kind of like off limits to him basically and they just kind of went like no contact after that they decided to just like pretend what happened never happened and they just never talked about it and they just kind of like stopped speaking to each other but there's always kind of been this like attraction between them and like this connection between them and so basically at this point they decide to do like a player profile on Smith and he agrees to it because Amelia will get a promotion if this goes well and so he pretty much only agrees to it to help her and so basically he says that he'll only do it if she's the one kind of running everything and so that's kind of what happens they end up having to work closer together again because she's doing this whole like social media profile on him and they kind of like reconnect and kind of start to get closer to each other again so yeah I did enjoy this one I feel like it's probably my least favorite of the series so far but I did like it um, I rated it four stars I think I've said this with the other books too in this series but I just feel like they could go like a little bit deeper and so that's kind of how I felt with this one like I feel like there could be more to these stories and there could be kind of more details and things like added into these stories that would just make them a little bit better like I feel like I don't really know these characters that well or really like connect to them but I do think they're just like kind of like fun like light books to read if you're looking for something like that so I do like them for that but I wouldn't really say they're like really amazing stories that you're going to connect to they're just more like quick reads to get you out of a reading slump but yeah it was a four star book I did enjoy it overall the next book I read was Wild Promises by Rebecca Genshack so this is actually a novella that comes before her book Wild About You and so in this book basically Wild About You follows Piper and Tyler and it's a second chance romance so in Wild Promises you're kind of getting like their initial meeting and how their relationship started up and everything and you just kind of see like where they met and what happened between them and how their connection grew but obviously they went their separate ways at one point so this one I like I said it's a novella it's really short I just read it because I had it downloaded on my Kindle and so because I had read that one I obviously decided to read Wild About You but Wild About You just continues their story this is like years later now I think they met when they were 18 maybe and now they're like 22 and so basically Tyler his sister she kind of leaves her parents house and she decides to come stay with Tyler and he just assumes that she's gonna be there for a night but she ends up staying for a whole month and basically he kind of like takes her in and decides that she can stay there with him and he's gonna like you know watch over her she is 18 at this point but she's still in high school and so basically she kind of got into some trouble at her other high school and so now he enrolls her into this private school and then she gets in trouble kind of right away at her new school so he has to go pick her up at the school and kind of have like a meeting and so when he gets there he runs into Piper and so Piper is actually a student teacher at her school it's their first time seeing each other in years and obviously there's kind of still like some feelings between them and so basically Piper is still like angry with him because he kind of broke her heart and so she kind of wants nothing to do with him but she does like his sister and so she agrees to like help him out with his sister just because he travels a lot because he's a hockey player I don't think I mentioned that but he's a professional hockey player so she decides to kind of like be a nanny for her sister and just like watch over her when he's out of town and just like help her out with things and kind of be like a female role model for her because she doesn't really have anyone other than her brother and like his teammates so yeah that's the main premise of this book this one actually follows 
another book. This is part of like a series of standalones. The first book is Wild Cat and I think I read that one in April and that one was like a coach's daughter trope and I really enjoyed that one. I thought it was really cute so I knew I wanted to read this one. I also really love Second Chance Romance so I was really excited to get into this one and so I ended up rating this one 4.5 stars. I just thought it was really cute. Again I really loved the relationship between these two characters. Something else I really loved about this book. I don't know this might be considered a spoiler. I wouldn't really consider it like a huge spoiler but there's not a third act breakup which is really nice. There's obviously conflicts that go on but these characters do stay together through those conflicts so I really loved that that there wasn't a third act breakup because I'm tired of third act breakups they're like in every book so I liked that this one didn't have that but yeah I really enjoyed it and I've enjoyed this series so far the third one I think comes out next year which I'm excited for it because it's going to be a marriage of convenience trope and it follows a character that we've already met I don't know who the love interest is going to be but I'm excited for that book once that one comes out it's still like months away but I am really excited to continue this series but yeah I just really enjoyed Rebecca Genchak's book so far so that's it for this video those were all the books that I read in the month of July like I said I read some really good books I feel like they were all really enjoyable and I had like high ratings for all of them but yeah that's it for this video definitely let me know any of your thoughts and if you liked this and you're new to my channel I would love it if you'd stick around and subscribe and thank you so much for watching